All right, we'll see you in a bit, Maria. Thank you. To the news now, we're going to head out live right now to Hurdle Avenue in North Buffalo, where in less than an hour now, peaceful protests are expected to begin. Though, as we saw two other times this week, there's been a bit of conflict and confrontation there as well. We have team coverage this hour, beginning with two on your sides, Dave McKinley. And Dave, as we wait for tonight's demonstrations to start, take us through how we got here and now what businesses in the neighborhood are doing to get ready for tonight. Well, it is interesting, Kate, because uh, having spent a good deal of the day on hurdle, the question that we've been asked most often is what we think is going to happen. And the honest answer to that question is we simply uh, do not know. Brings to mind a conversation I had earlier this year with the organizer of a demonstrator uh, of a different sort where issues raised there were none of the type that were raised here. In fact, it was a, a demonstration about businesses reopening during the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. But uh, the organizer of that particular demonstration told me that his concern was when you have a public event and you stage one and you invite everyone, you never know who will show up or what their intentions may be. And there are similar concerns afoot here tonight on Hurdle Avenue. Two days after a public and impassioned plea by the city's mayor for calm, men of the cloth gathered on Hurdle Avenue this morning to pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, for peace. It's critical that people are allowed to express the emotions that they have. But it's just as important that with your anger, you don't do something that's unseemly, that you don't hurt another human being, that you don't destroy someone else's property. That's not okay. Some businesses were taking no chances, though. The doors and windows on this one were being boarded up in advance of the demonstration. It is next door to what could be ground zero for part of tonight's activities, the Empty Pockets Bar, site of an ugly confrontation earlier in the week fueled by racially charged taunting between demonstrators and patrons. Other businesses along this busy commercial strip plan to forego what normally might be a busy Friday night's receipts and close early. And uh, several of those pastors that we uh, talked to earlier today do plan to participate in tonight's demonstrations. Uh, however, their concern that they raised was what they referred to as agents provocateurs. And those are folks that come into events like these with no other intention but to royal emotions, stir the pot, and therefore stir trouble. Of course, we'll be here throughout uh, the afternoon, the remainder of the afternoon and into the night to uh, check in on this situation as events unfold. Reporting live on Hurdle Avenue, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.